Megan, have a seat. Well, Megan, we heard from HR that you recently discovered you're pregnant. Is this true, Megan? <laughs> yes, I, I am. Megan, you are a valued member of this company. Very valued. And we have a generous package to help you out for the days ahead. Very generous. Paid time off, uh, appointment expenses covered, meals covered, flights in and out of state. That is awesome. Uh, flights out of state? I, I, I don't think I'll be- Yeah, we wanna make sure that our workers are taken care of. So just tell us how much time you need to take off and then um, when you return, we can get back to it. I mean, do you think we can expect to get rolling in three weeks? Three weeks? The baby isn't due for another seven months, and then, uh, well, and also how much time did you say I can take off after delivery as well? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, okay, that's a wrench in things. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's a curveball. It's really gonna throw off our schedule. I'm sorry. Um, the baby's gotta come out at some point and then... Yeah, we were hoping that would be the next couple of weeks. You know, you can fly to another state. And Stay in a really nice hotel. Yeah, and go to some nice restaurants on the company. Are you telling me to get an abortion? <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Dropping the A word on us here. I mean, this is all about what you want, Megan. This is your body, your choice. Your body. Your choice. Entirely up to you. Um, this baby, uh, Yeah, you know what, Trish, can you come on in here? Thanks for coming in, Trish. Absolutely, sir. Uh, you can just stand right over here and, um, let Megan take a good look at you. Now, Megan, would you rather be some trophy housewife or would you rather be Trish? You don't want to be a trophy. Tell her about your career journey, Trish. Entered as an unpaid intern straight out of grad school, part-time after a year, full-time after another two years, six years of 80 hours a week before promotion to management. Now I'm down to a smooth 60. Two years later, awarded Employee of the Year. Happiest day of my life. Which do you think she'd rather be holding in her arms? That award or a baby, Megan? Not even a question, right? Why do I have to pick one? Could never be who I am today with a kid to take care of. Wait, are you telling me you got pregnant on purpose? Who does that? That's what I'm saying. Having kids, what are you, a boomer? <laughs> Megan, I wouldn't hesitate to say that Trish is nearly as important to this company as any man. Thank you for saying that, sir. You don't want a kid, Megan. Get a puppy instead. That's what I did. Oh. Actually, Trish, um, with your work from home, we were thinking that there would be a productivity increase if you didn't have that puppy. I can't believe you would insinuate that I should get rid of my puppy. That is offensive, Larry. All right, Larry, don't be offensive. Here, Megan, take this plant. You can have it. Invest your maternal instincts into this. Ooh, yeah, this won't keep you up at night. Megan, this is a woman's right. Having an abortion is something only women can do. Having a child is something only women can do. Do you want a kid or do you want to be successful? You gotta choose. I disagree. Well then, I guess we're gonna have to revisit that discussion about your metrics and whether or not you're going to hit those metrics. <laughs> The metrics. Are you saying that you would actually... This is your body. Your choice, Megan. Unbelievable. <laughs> but we support you in meeting these metrics. We support women. This is all about women's empowerment. I am a feminist. Work for any major company, and you'll see that our offer is very competitive. Disney, Starbucks, Tesla, Procter & Gamble. Okay, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go back to my desk where I'm going to continue to do the excellent work that I've been doing for this company while my baby grows inside my belly and then I will give birth to that baby in seven months. And then I'll take the 12 weeks of paid maternity leave. My baby will be on my insurance and once in a while I might need a little bit of flexibility, but I will continue to knock it out of the park like I always have. Classic submissive conservative woman. Obviously listening to a bunch of men telling her what to do with her body. It's like she wants us all to live in the handmaid's tale, you know? <laughs> <laughs>